Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hops sitting outside on this nice autumn afternoon. Uh, I thought that the reviews I did of the Oktoberfest beers would be the last beer reviews I do outside, but today it's actually not that bad. The weather is actually kind of nice, um, or pretty nice for like October weather. Uh, yeah, and today we're going to be looking at another one of the beers sent to me from the guys at Sundikadel. This is their uh, Sundikadel. Sundi, Sundi Secretary, which means the secretary, uh, says seducing blonde ale, and this is a Belgian style, a golden blonde ale, uh, Belgian strong golden ale, I guess you'll say, uh, on 8.2 percent alcohol. They use a little bit of a new world twist on this because it has citra hops in it, and I know previous batches of this has been infected, uh, so I hope this one is since it's a fresh batch. It's not going to be infected because that would kind of suck. Um, but yeah, that's basically what it says on the, the bag that they've drawn from the Belgian tradition and put some modern uh, twist into it with that citra hops. And it says it tastes, it's slightly vinous with fruity taste of citrus and melon. And it's dry and complex. A great thirst quencher, but be aware since it's got a punch, packs a punch with the alcohol. And the idea behind it was to create. Uh, a beer that was really good with the uh, fish, but uh, yeah, uh, let's get secate and cracked open and see how it is. Okay, not much carbonation on that pot there. Let's see. Oh no. That. Uh, okay, we got a little carbonation going in here. Let's see. That definitely has carbonation. I can kind of smell some of it already from the wind there. But yeah, so we've got the Secretan poured, and that is a really pale golden yellow color. Super hazy, almost looks like a Vitbia, uh, built in white ale. Really, really nice looking actually, kind of like looks like a summer beer for sure. Uh, nice little white head there. Uh, yeah, let's check out the aroma on the Secretan. Hmm, yeah, this one I don't think is infected. I do get a light tartness. Like a subtle tartness. It smells like a Duval clone, basically. Some white grapey notes. A little bit of a citrusy tart tw twang to it. Some sweeter maltiness. Kind of like almost a candied sugar, but I don't think there's any sugar in here. Yeah, there is. There is sugar in there. Um, and some oats, too. But some of that. I can kind of see that melon part, but not too much. I can definitely see how it's going to be good with fish, though, and seafood. A little bit of a peppery, kind of spicy note, which is probably from the Belgian yeast. Um, also some doughy breadiness. But the aroma is kind of muted. Some bright fruits, but yeah. Not the most complex aroma on a strong Belgian blonde, but uh, yeah. It smells fairly okay. It doesn't smell too in, like infected or anything really here, so. Yeah, let's give um, Secretan a taste. Cheers, guys. That is very flat. Eh, so far this is probably my least favorite of the syndicated beers. Uh, a beer like this needs much more carbonation, I, I feel like. Like Belgian Strong Gold Nails needs carbonation. It's got this intense dryness to it. Still got that kind of tart twang. Quite peppery too. A little bit of that white grape and sweet malt. Kind of watery. And the fact that there's so little carbonation really helps making it feel more watery. Kind of a light grassy note in there too. Yeah, this is not anything I care for too much. Um, to be honest, this is kind of weird, I think. It's got that, this almost plastic flavor. It reminds me of plastic. And it's got some alcohol, some phenolic alcohol notes in there too. Yeah, this is not really a winner in my book. Uh, yeah, rating wise for the, the Secretan, I'm going to go 50 on this one. I think it is an average Belgian ale. Um, it could have be done, been done better. My biggest beef with it is definitely a carbonation. It really makes it feel watery. And then also, it doesn't pack so much flavor. So you guys, that does it for the beer review of the Syndicate of the Secretan. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And I'm going to say cheers. I'm going to see you guys in another beer review.